I think there is an answer out there, and it has to to to, to amalgamate musicians and things like Spotify, RDO, or Pandora. You know, we've got to get to a point where you know there, um, artists are properly given the amount of money that they deserve we're, as opposed to like right now we're giving it to Spotify and I have nothing against Spotify. Spotify unless it comes up with something better is the future of music you know it, it really is. So there just has to be a better way of how how you know the the two industries collide together. Um, maybe there's um, things like you know the band gets part of the advertising that's played in between your records or or something to that effect. There just has to be a better way to but, but as for now, it's just the lesser of two evils. If you said, listen, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna buy your record. I'm either gonna listen to it on Spotify or I'm gonna download it, I would be like, please listen to it all day on Spotify because at least I can see how many people are listening to my songs and what songs they're listening to so I can go play that live. And so that if I'm getting booked for like, you know, a, a festival, people can go there and go, oh, wow, 10 million plays. Like, absolutely book them, you know? Oh, I see in the last month they've had, you know, 4 million unique users. I mean, they're on the uptick, you know, or whatever. They're just, I would rather because of, I can, you know, see on Spotify how many people are listening or where they're listening it from or where we should tour. I mean, things like that are really cool, you know, especially people can create playlists and share as opposed to downloading. You just keep stealing my record, you know? And sure, I may make, a whopping sixty dollars in my whole life on Spotify, but that's sixty more dollars that you know that that the band gets to put gas in the tank or go to another show or you know anything. So I think that there is a way that, but right now Spotify is not working for bands and and, and things like that. Beats and all those companies are not working as well as they will in the future. So give it ten years and it'll and it'll adjust itself as the proper you know, payment uh, for, for future bands. Um, but as of now, it's just kind of like, well, you know, we're the guinea pigs and we're helping your company make money even though we're not, you know? So that's, I mean, that's, that's it's, there. I mean, there's a, a lot of different ways to do it, such as even in the UK, uh, the UK like internet companies can see how much you're illegally downloading. I mean, if you're taking up like, gigs and gigs of information you're not you don't have you're not that popular you don't have that many you know mail emails that you have to send you're stealing movies you're stealing music so they're taxing you know what i'm saying the bigger the gigs the more gigs you know you're 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 downloading there's a tax on that and that is getting divided up into the entertainment industry sure it's not a perfect concept but it's a concept and it's one that you know perhaps that we should look into you know for again future bands you know, I think it's asinine that the that the industry, the entertainment industry, has not developed something new. It's kind of like everybody's like plugging their ears and closing their eyes and just crossing their fingers that some third party is going to invent a way. Well, the industry has declined from 14 billion in the early 2000s, late 90s, to 5 billion, which means like one third of our entire industry is gone. It's dead. Like bands that should that potentially could be here we will never hear. Your favorite band may not exist right now because they were never signed. They were never given a chance. Booking agents are way too swamped to book your tour. They didn't come through your town. You never heard of them. Why didn't the music industry early on say, well, I mean, nobody could have predicted that nine billion loss in 10 years, okay? I, I totally get that. But say, you know what, this steep decline, why don't we dedicate $1 billion to figuring this problem out? That is a lot of money and that is, a lot, you know, you make it an award. I'll give somebody $500 million for any college that can come up with a plausible solution to the internet. $500 million is not that much in the terms of $9 billion and shrinking. You know, we're at five now. You know, if, if things keep going the way it is, it's down to three. And that sounds like a lot of my three billion, but that's three billion of Taylor Swift and Miley Cyrus and the latest hip hop and the latest country and the latest pop. That is no, this, not, none of the bands you'll see here. And nothing against those bands. Those bands, you know, great, good. I, I, I hope all, I hope all musicians do well, you know, no matter what position they are. But I think a lot of times people look at like, a Justin Bieber and see how much money and see the Ferrari and just assume that if you're on a major label, you've got that same Ferrari in your garage. Where in all reality is, I literally am on Universal Republic Records and I have a second job. I mean, I'm just being honest right now. Like, I work for Ultimate Ears. I do uh, social media for them. But that's to provide groceries for my family. That's crazy to me. Like, and I'm not, you know, and I've been in a band 12 years and I'm not saying like, oh, we're huge, but I'm saying like, 
I still pull crowds, you know what I'm saying? But I have a family, I have a, a, a car payment. It's not a nice car, it's a car. So I'm not Justin Bieber. And I'm not accusing and saying like, oh, you're illegal downloading, he's killing me. I'm saying you're do illegal downloading, he's killing the future me, but the next band, 1975, you know what I'm saying? Like all the new bands up and coming, you know what I'm saying? You're eventually, you're killing them, you know? So. Anyway, sorry, that was way honest. I've never said that to anybody, but that's just that's just being honest. That's being truthful. Is that if I'm having to get a second job, I can't even imagine what these bands that are pulling a trailer with their van are going through. You know, so it's just crazy, crazy world.